You excited, bro? <laughs> Look at those conditions. Bloody mint. Sorry. That's all good. What's the bricky, Tim? Uh, apricot crumble. Really? <laughs> Lucky bastard. Sounds good. Got the old faithful fire tiger on for today. It's the one I got last tuner on. Hopefully that does the job. I reckon they'll hit anything at this. Yeah, I agree. I don't think they're fussy, man. If it looks like a fish, they'll sm and they're feeding, they'll smash it. I have literally got bait on the surface right here, sitting at 30 meters. I don't have my jig set up yet. I might just chuck it on and just like have a few jigs and see if anything comes and hits it. Probably kingfish, to be fair. Oh, I had a fish just jump here, Tim. Well, the excitement's high this morning. It's the end of July, and I'm out at the Eastern Bay of Plenty with Tim, and we're chasing Southern Bluefin Tuna. It's uh, been a pretty tough season so far. There's been Shocking weather all winter, but this weekend we've got an epic break. We've got, I'm down here for four days. We've got at least two solid days ahead of us. And just check out this cracker of a morning we've got so far. So we're making our way out wide at the moment. We're planning on heading right offshore, towing lures all day, and hoping to get onto one of those big tuna. We've had uh, quite a bit of bait just off the coast here this morning, so we've been doing a bit of jigging in close. And we've even seen some seals, but hopefully once we get a bit further offshore, we get stuck into those fish. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a cracker of a day in any event. So we're going to keep pedaling and we'll see you guys out offshore. Waihau Bay, Kotahi, do you copy? Good morning, Kotahi, go ahead. Yeah, morning Coast Guard launch from Lawton. Got one person on board heading out to the 1000 metre mark. Estimated time of return, uh, 1900 hours over. We have a call sign. Zulu Mike Papa 4078. Yes, you have one on board. You're at the 1000 metre mark of Lotton and your ETR 1900. I hope you're standing by. Been pedaling for about three hours now and we're just hitting the 1000 meter mark hearing lots on the radio this morning from the other boaties catching them all out between a thousand and fourteen hundred meters so so we keep trekking up towards where those guys are and uh, hopefully run over something on the way but aside from that it's been pretty quiet um, yeah just keep these pedals cheating and hope for the best to start heading back in the uh, weather's turning a bit sloppy now waves are chopping up a bit and it's meant to get a little bit worse so fortunately yeah the forecast changed today and we haven't got a mint afternoon like we were expecting but tomorrow is meant to be awesome so we're going to head back in now maybe do a bit of a jig on the way back and save our legs for tomorrow which is going to be a really big day We 
Well, sadly, no joy on the bluefin today. Um, weather wasn't quite good enough to stay out there and uh, we just weren't quite deep enough to uh, get out to where they were catching them today. But tomorrow's a new day. Uh, we'll, we've got quite a good forecast for tomorrow. So we're gonna really push hard to get out wide and um, yeah, give this one last crack tomorrow and fingers crossed we can make it happen. But for now, heading back in, gonna grab a feed, get some sleep and then get up tomorrow and do it all again. So catch you guys in the morning. Welcome back, it's day two and uh, made my way offshore. Just me today, Tim and I had a good chat last night about the uh, prospects of getting one of these bluefin and we realized all the boats that were hooking them were way offshore, 1200 plus meters. And Tim had to head back today so he wasn't gonna have time to actually make the most of this trip by getting all the way offshore. However, I'm down here for another few days so I'm pushing all the way out offshore today. I know a few of the boaties out there and I've lodged my trip report with Coast Guard and uh, fortunately we've got a windless day it's going to be like this all day so today is a better day than any to give this mission a crack um, I'm just hitting the blue water now I'm about 20 odd k's offshore and uh, I'm going to set the lures soon I'm also going to have the sounder on looking for sign I've got a jigging rod ready so pretty much what we've got is another 20 k's offshore and then about 30 k's, 30 to 40 k's get back in. It's gonna be a long day, about 12 to 14 hours of non-stop pedaling. But yeah, I'm just praying that we can find one of these bluefin. It's a high risk, high reward scenario, but you know, anything's possible. So just gotta stick at it and hope it all comes together. See you guys when I see ya. Well the fishing might not be on fire but the weather out here certainly is. Look at that, absolutely stellar day. Well so far it's been a very quiet uh, day. It's just pushing two o'clock now and um, starting to make my way back in. Got about 30 k's left to get back to base, but look at this, it's a beautiful day out here. Flat as a pancake. Well, there's some rolling swells, but there's no wind. Super smooth water, beautiful. Well that sun's just starting to set and I'm not too far away from the beach now. It's been a really gruelling day in the office out here today. I uh, got all the way out to the 1600 metre mark but no joy. I had a mate who was just about 3 k's further out from me who got a few bluefin so so close but hey this is how it goes with fishing sometimes. I knew it was going to be a slim chance but it doesn't make it any easier. Um, I'm going to finish off this log back to the beach and then tomorrow I'm going to do one final day of fishing. I'm going to do just a bit of bottom fishing and slow pitch jigging to finish off this trip. So yeah, I'm going to finish off the uh, journey back to the beach and I'll catch you guys in the morning.
Holy shit, I just got a bluefin! I've just caught a bluefin! I just saw one jump in front of the kayak, so I threw a lure out and I hooked it! Holy cow! Oh my god! You are choking! Got a damn spool, eh? Hold the hook. You are kidding. Oh, that is devastating. I was just pedaling out to the spot this morning and uh, trying to get my damn life jacket on. I saw a bluefin jump in front of me, so I just put out one lure and just got smashed. Oh. I can't believe that it is so unlucky. I think I think it bit through the trace. Lure, lure feels like it's off. I feel like, I think I've lost my lure. Either that or it's coming back at the kayak, but Oh, that was a big fish. That was a really big fish. Oh, I cannot believe that. I saw it jump out of the water just behind the kayak. Oh. I was almost spooled. That is just bonkers. Yeah, I've lost my lure, I think. It must have just bitten straight through the trace. Damn, that's so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Oh, the top shot snapped. You're kidding. You are kidding. Oh, that's devastating. Oh, well, I still got a, uh, another lure. I'm gonna quickly chuck that out. Let's go straight back over where I hooked that fish. Oh, that is so gutting. I oh, can't believe that just happened. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty devastated by that result, guys. I, uh, yeah, that was probably the one shot I'm gonna get at a bluefin this year, and uh, it's all gone. It all just happened so fast. What happened was I was pedaling out to the spot where I was gonna do some bottom fishing, and in the distance, I saw this big bluefin jump out of the water, and I saw a splash of the water coming up um, after it hit, and I was like, but good, I'm gonna chuck out a lure. I doubt there's still some around, but I'll put out a lure and see what happens. And yeah, put out that first lure. And then I was just trying to get my gear sorted on the left hand side to get the second lure out. And then I started pedaling forward and all of a sudden, all the weight was on that right hand rod. And I thought it must have, the lure must have got snagged up or something because it wasn't running or anything like that. It was just a big weight on the end. And then yeah, by the time I got the cameras on and all that, you guys would have seen it just screamed off. I probably lost a good 300 metres of line in those first minute or so of having that fish hooked on. It must have been an enormous bluefin tuna. I think where I went wrong is I had the drag done up too tight and uh, the, the double is where, where it snapped, which is, yeah, really gutting. But I think what I'm going to do now is instead of heading out to the... Uh, bottom fishing spot. I've got both of those out. I've retied this rod, got both of those out. I'm going to do a couple more uh, runs over the spot. I've actually seen fish up on the surface, so that's a good sign. And yeah, try my luck. I'm not hopeful. I think those bluefin move pretty quick, so they've probably moved on, but I'll give it a crack and see what happens. 
like uh, I've made it out offshore and I've just started slow pitch jigging, running 330 meters, 450 gram jig. Uh, let's see if I can find something. Well, the forecast was a bit off. I was uh, way out wide, it started slow pitch jigging, and all of a sudden the wind kicked off and it's been gusting 25, 30 knots, probably averaging 15 to 20 at least. Um, so there's big white caps out there, so headed back in and I found the most beautiful bay here. So I've parked up to give the legs a rest, it took a few hours to get back in, and uh, gonna have a feed, and then finish off the journey back home. Got probably another three or five k's up the coast to get back home. So yeah, just gonna chill for now and enjoy a beautiful sunny day in this stunning piece of paradise. Don't know if you'll be able to see that. There's some pig tracks or deer tracks. I think that's actually, actually deer tracks. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, my time at this beautiful beach is up and I'm gonna have to start on the journey back home. I can still see these heaps of white caps out the back there, so I'm not looking forward to this. And it's actually gonna be about a 9K pedal instead of only three or five. So yeah, it's gonna be a slog, but I'm gonna get cracking and I'll see you guys back on the beach. I'm pretty happy to be back on dry land. That was a brutal pedal back in. It must have been a good 25, 30 knots out there, which was way above what was forecasted. Um, and yeah, that's gonna wrap up this trip. What an insane last three days this has been. We covered a lot of ground out there chasing the bluefin, saw some epic wildlife, and explored some beautiful countryside, well, coastline out here. And yeah, of course, hooking that bluefin this morning that was something else it was the last thing i expected i was just planning on going out for a bottom fish and then when i saw that bluefin jump in front of the kayak put out a lure and before i knew it i was hooked up obviously i'm devastated not to have landed it but um it's just how fishing goes and that's what it, what's going to keep the uh, fire burning um to keep me coming back and chasing the species so i think i'll probably be back again next year for another round but for now that's going to wrap up this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one